Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Nale channel. Today's topic is part two of attribute agreement analysis. So in this case, this is my 38 Lean Six Sigma sessions. It's going to be very interesting and part two, I have covered a little bit more layer than part one. So I picked up two scenarios. I'm going to quickly read it out the scenario and we will also will be doing with the help of mini tab. So please stay tuned till the end you will get the entire package about attribute agreement analysis. So the scenario one a quality team check uh, a quality team check patient registration form and determines whether whether the form is complete or having incomplete. The quality supervisor wants to assess the reliability of this measurement system. The quality supervisor got 30 patient registration form checked by four QC person. And he passed the same 30, 30 patient registration form against to the QC person to be checked again. And the QC person didn't know that they are checking the same form. So what he does, he just swap around and uh, and he wanted to determine whether the verdict whether the decision whether the you uh, know whatever the decision they are saying is accurate or not can we collect the data using measurement system yes and what tool can be used so since we are talking about uh, complete incomplete we are talking about a discrete data so when you say discrete data so we need to go for attribute agreement analysis what if we have a you know continuous data or variable data then we can go for grr right so in this case we are going to stick with attribute agreement analysis because the name itself has the solution attribute right so the data is attribute so i'm going to uh, i have that worksheet which i'm going to explain and this is my data set it has got n equal to 30 and has got appraiser one and uh, in this one trial one trial two will be done appraiser two trial one trial two and appraiser three uh, and trial one and trial two and appraiser four trial one and trial two and with the supervisor uh, you know the verdict so scenario two a service team at a bank check application form to verify whether all documents are completed there have been recent complaint about sending incomplete application form to the credit check team the service manager wanted to assess the reliability of the current inspection activity therefore got 25 application form checked by four team executives and the service management replicated the inspection and making sure that they were not inspecting the same thing so in whether it's a grr whether it's attribute agreement analysis the paramount thing is we should hide we should make the symbol or we should make the identification we should hide otherwise what will happen the bias may take place we will discuss more in detail can we collect the data using measurement system yes what tool can be used here again we are talking about whether the form is complete or not complete so we are going to take attribute agreement analysis so this is the data set which we are going to do it in the mini tab so this is executive one trial one executive one again trial two executive two trial one and trial two executive three trial one and trial two executive four trial one and trial two and expert right so we are going to compare what is the kappa value we will get what's the percentage we'll get we are going to uh, you know discuss uh, in a statistically we are going to have the results so to do that very simple uh, in the mini tab what you, you can do is you can go to statistics since it's a statistic one you can go to stat and you have a quality tools and inside you will have attribute agreement analysis when you go there we will we'll discuss more in detail there so this is the quick navigation start quality tools attribute agreement analysis so this one i will quickly uh, tell that how to key in the data and so on i will directly discuss uh, in this many tab itself so let us go to many tab now 
So I'm going to delete this one so that I can demonstrate one more time what, uh, how to do and all that. Let me delete everything. Okay. So this is scenario one. Scenario one we saw uh, about the uh, 30 samples we are going to do. So th there are two appraisers. And uh, now what we need to do is we, since it has got attribute data, discrete data, we are going to do uh, attribute agreement analysis. To go to start, you have a quality tools and you have something called attribute agreement analysis. No, you, you wanted to create a form. You wanted to create a template. Then you can go and create the worksheet also as well. For example, before I go into this, let me explain about create attribute agreement analysis worksheet. You can also create a worksheet. For example, how many samples in this case, I have a 30 samples. I think 30 line items will open up and how many appraisers in this case I have uh, whatever the appraiser you have. Let's say you have two appraiser, two thing will open up. So if you have four, four thing we, we can do that. And then uh, so whether the uh, if you have sample standard attribute unknown or if you have a, in text or in numerical values or in worksheet, anything, everything you can easily, easily do that. So if you, this is how you can create the uh, template asset. So there is another way of doing it. There is also you can do it uh, with the help of these things also as well. For example, you can go to assistant measurement uh, system analysis and then uh, so you, you have a two things one is called grr worksheet and one of the you have a cross method and all that so if you wanted to do it like attribute ag ag agreement analysis you can do that so this is measurement data this is you you wanted to have attribute data you can do that so both ways we can do so now i have already the data populated so i'm going to go directly uh, in the you know directly in analysis space so start quality tools and then you have attribute agreement analysis right so in that i'm going to give f3 that means it will delete off all the information so that i can do it one more time so it delete off so i press f3 it deleted off everything so it says that there are two set values are there one is called data arrange as column so you can see a singular here right attribute column is singular and all these are singular but we have a multiple column so i am going to select multiple columns yeah so in this one entire trial of each appraiser together that means all these column i need to do together appraiser meaning like this is appraiser all these uh, columns so how to do that very simple there are two ways of doing it one you can double click it will come down here for example if i double click it will come down here or you what you can do is you can select because i'm going to select all these values shift down arrow so i have selected till appraiser 4 and you can give select so all these value have come down so number of appraiser how much we have number of appraiser you can see here appraiser 1 2 3 and 4 right so four appraiser i have so how many uh, trials I have done? We have done two trials. Yeah, sorry. We have done two trials. And name, maybe appraiser name we can say, maybe in, uh, I will say Abrar, something like that. Abrar knowledge. And note, uh, this is optional, but it is highly recommended to give. You can also compare within the appraiser and you can compare with the standard also as well so it's highly recommend to although it is optional but it is it is good to give this uh, you know uh, known standard attribute so that you can compare with the standard also as well so i'm gonna give supervisor example so categories of the, this one order yeah no problem that is fine so again you can go to information and you can say study so this is the study we have we have been doing it right so you can just come down your quality this is patient registration form right so you can give the same thing here reported you can give maybe uh, date reported by prar and product name you can give this is hospital example right sheet something like that and then lens if you have anything you can give or you can give a date or a month or something like that december 2020 something like 
that you can give q okay options you can go and then you can just see that it is uh, calculate cohen's kappa for appropriate and default it will calculate you don't need to be worried and graph so it, it is pick up all these values as a graph and store results uh, it says in, in kappa value it all, uh, automatically it gives so you can give okay so now it has gives it has given that basic information gauge is patient, uh, patient registration uh, reported by brad hospital sh hospital sheet and this is the month it has come down uh, within the appraiser that means uh, we are talking about four appraiser appraiser one appraiser two appraiser three appraiser four where where they are for example appraiser one has inspected 30 27 match that means 27 by 30 is 90 percentage and appraiser two also 27 is matching that means uh, so 90 percentage appraiser three is slightly better so 28 that is 93.99 uh, 93.33 and appraiser 4 is bang on 30 out of 30 that means 100 right so you can also see here uh, this is the important factor that is kappa value you need to consider and you can see how much uh, you know 0.76 you need to have uh, like 0.8 the same thing you will have in the decimal point right so you can see and then you can see each appraiser versus standard so this one you will get only if you give a known i mean if you give for example if i go to edit last edit last dialog or control e if i remove this one for example i'm just removing the supervisor so you will not find that it doesn't compare with any standard so it is just comparing with the between the appraiser it is not comparing with anything so the minute i can give control e and i get the button called uh, edit last button so in this one i'm gonna give supervisor now if you see the difference this is the within the com uh, within the appraiser and also it gives very very importantly it gives with the standard with the person who is known sample or expert it also gives for example let's talk about you know we, we saw that actually the person won uh, between the appraiser he is 90 but with the standard uh, the with the expert uh, with the supervisor uh, you know example he is meeting only 86 this person 83 and that person got 100 now he is 96.67 so it's always better to compare with the standard also as well right so disagreement the same thing it will how many got disagreement which point got disagreement all these specific value will get laid down and then you will get the uh, the same thing full full summary you will get it and then between the appraiser 30 21 is matching 70 is the uh, overall one and then you have the same thing in in kappa value all appraiser versus standard 66.67 and then you will have the graph as such let me click the graph so this is two side you will get it because i have given known i mean uh, appraiser standard also as well right so within the appraiser that means it compares appraiser one appraiser two three four and their accuracy and uh, appraiser with you know the standard also as well right so appraiser one comparing with the standard appraiser two comparing with the standard three comparing with the standard four comparing with the standard right so this is the basic uh, detail i have got and now so for example this is the value i have got for example the same thing 90 very good and here uh, 90 very good and here slightly better 93.33 and is 100 and then with the you know standard so slightly down for example 86.66 and appraiser 2 definitely need to improve because 83 uh, that is uh, for example if you are setting the target at 90 it is lower than the 90 that means you will go and find out and try to give a retraining and try to find out why he is not inconsistent in making the decision and then you just assess the training part and all that and then you will find uh, this is 90 it's fairly good but it's still if you set the target like 95 in your organization then again uh, you will say again you will try to find out the reason why the person has not given the accurate answer and then you will uh, find out the solutions 
uh, you find out the uh, root cause and find out the solution so for example let's say how i, I wanted to uh, if i wanted to add the trend line for example the target for example what you can do is you can go to right click you can do and there is something called add reference line right in the reference line so you can add like uh, show reference line at y axis y is my percentage so 90 right so 90 you can give so that means okay all are above 90 very good within the appraiser bang on and let's stay uh, let's do this here also as well so that we can say in the by looking at the graph we will be able to figure out right reference line again i'm giving like 90 and so now what i will do is i will focus on appraiser one and appraiser two because they are not meeting the requirement let's say no this is not my no i would like to start in the i'm the, in the beginning phase i would like to start with uh, 80 that's fine so what you do you can go to right click i mean you can have a right click and reference line and then 80 and figure out that in when you say 80 all are pass right no, no, no all above the standard so it's better that you can set it up uh, 90 and then figure out uh, the target i'm just deleting this off and then right click reference line and then 90. so this is both have got 90 so i will focus on appraiser one and appraiser two why they are inconsistent which part they have done wrong which uh, you know worksheet they have done wrong and all that i will figure out the reason so this is how so if you wanted to do a little bit more uh, cosmetic things you can do that uh, so you can go to for example if you wanted to have this uh, select region for example graph size if you wanted to modify you can do a customization if you wanted to have a, a attribute if you wanted to highlight anything you can do that or let's say i wanted to add data labels you can also add the data labels in this case for me it is very very easy only a small chart so no need to add the data labels you can also do a footer note uh, you know work with appraiser appraiser one and appraiser two so you can do that also as well so this is the indication that everything uh, if you wanted to project to management everything is there within the chart right so you can also do that so what else you can do you can also add a subtitle uh, subtitle to it you can add the title and of course you can also add uh, the graph regions tables and everything you can do that so i hope this uh, is very useful for you and we talked about uh, attribute agreement analysis attribute agreement analysis the paramount thing is when we have a data which is discrete or attribute data we can go for attribute agreement analysis in the mini tab you will find like start uh, quality tools and then attribute agreement analysis even if you do not have a format you can come to mini tab and ask for the uh, suitable format uh, and then you can do that it's always recommended to you go with the standard so that you will be able to compare within the appraiser and with the uh, you know, appraiser versus standard also as well. I hope this video is very useful for you and please do like, share, subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.